This is the new Skoda Octavia, the latest version of the Czech firm's popular and spacious family car. And here's the CarWow Top 10 Things You Need to Know About It. This latest Octavia might be all new, but it's still very clearly a Skoda. There's that distinctive Skoda grille for a start, and genuinely unfussy styling. Although perhaps it's a little bit boring? Thankfully, the old car's horrible twin headlights have been ditched for much smarter LEDs. You also get LED taillights as well. And although there's not that much bling on the new Octavia, you can at least spec it up to 19-inch alloys, even on non-VRS models. The new car is available as a spacious estate or a slightly cheaper, slightly smaller hatchback. But which do you prefer, the sleek hatch or the massive estate? Click on the pop-out banner on the top right-hand corner of the screen to cast your vote. Even on entry-level models, the new Octavia's interior is dominated by a large central infotainment screen, while the majority of the physical buttons are right in the centre of the dash too. You might also spot the Citroen-style two-spoke steering wheel and, on automatic models, a dinky rocker switch in place of a proper gear shifter. And if your mates give you grief about the size of your knob, you can tell them it's just like the one in the Porsche 911. Yeah. Anyway, you can also get optional heated, cooled and massaging seats, plus ambient lighting throughout the cabin. The new Skoda Octavia will cost from around £20,000 when it goes on sale in spring 2020. You can expect to pay a premium of £1,500 for the popular estate model, while a top-of-the-range car with a long list of ticked options will be more like £30,000. But if you think this is all a little bit too expensive for a Skoda, then click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to find out about the new Volkswagen Golf to see if that's worth the money. The Skoda Octavia comes with no less than four different suspension choices. There are the regular springs, a sportier setup that's 15mm lower, and a dynamic chassis control option. This lowers the car by 10mm, and that automatically adjusts for the road surface. With a dynamic chassis, you can also choose a soft setting to smooth out bumpy roads, or a sportier mode that makes the Octavia feel tauter in the bends. Now, those of you paying attention will notice I said there were four suspension settings, and there's only three. Well, the fourth option is one that's 15mm higher than standard, which is more ideal for dealing with rough country roads, especially if you pair it with grippy four-wheel drive, which is available on 2.0-litre models. Even the basic Octavia comes with an 8-inch touchscreen, plus Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring. Higher specification models have a 10-inch central screen and built-in satellite navigation, while the top-of-the-range trim gets a 10-inch virtual cockpit in place of conventional driving dials. Gesture control is available too, as is voice control. This comes in the form of a digital assistant called Laura, which could probably get confusing if one of your passengers is called Laura. The new Octavia is longer and wider than the old model, so it'll definitely be the most spacious family car you'll get for the price. Up front, there's loads of room for tall adults, and the same is true in the back, where knee room has increased by 5mm compared with the old model. You also get a bigger boot in the estate with a 640 litre capacity. That's up by 30 litres, while the hatchback has grown by 10 litres to 600 load space in total. Keeping that interior tidy is going to be easy too, because the Octavia is packed full of small storage areas. Oh, and you can have up to five USB-C sockets, so you can keep your family's devices charged. The Octavia is available with a choice of three petrol engines, the 110 1.0-litre three-cylinder and 150-horsepower 1.5-litre four-cylinder come with a six-speed manual gearbox, with a seven-speed automatic as an option. Choose the Auto and you also get a 48-volt mild hybrid system. This gives an electric boost to make the car more efficient, allows it to coast on the motorway to save fuel via regenerative braking. Until the VRS model comes along in 2020, the top of the range petrol is a 190 horsepower 2 litre that gets from 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds. It comes with four wheel drive and an automatic gearbox as standard. This is the first time you can have your Octavia as a plug in hybrid. It uses a combination of a 1.4 litre petrol engine and an electric motor to produce 204 horsepower. Its lithium ion battery gives it an all electric range of nearly 35 miles. This means that if you have a short commute and somewhere to charge your car, you'll be able to get to and from work on cheap green electric power alone, saving money and the environment. If you do lots of miles, you'll be best off with one of the three 2.0-litre four-cylinder diesels, which can expect to return fuel economy of around 60 miles per gallon. Both the 116 and 150 horsepower models come with a six-speed gearbox as standard and a seven-speed auto as an option. The top of the range 200 horsepower diesel gets a seven-speed auto and four-wheel drive as standard and goes from 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds. 
The new Octavia comes with lots of technology that's never been offered before in the model. Cleverest of all are the Matrix LED headlights. They have 22 separate LEDs that can be controlled individually, casting a dark spot over other road users while the main beam stays on. Other firsts include the heads-up display, which projects important information like current speed, fighter jet style onto the windscreen. There's also tri-zone climate control, meaning the driver, front passenger and rear seat passengers can all set their own temperature. The final new addition to the Octavia options sheet is four-door keyless entry, allowing you to open any passenger door without having to take your key out of your pocket. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel for more videos. And if you click on the deals box to the right, you can see how much you can save on a new car at CarWow. Or click on the video windows below to watch another of my videos.